Then we have our knock count down here. We have our map sensor on our pink line and our engine RPM here on our black line. Let's jump into our boost tuning. Um, we're going to be able to see that the same uh, kind of information. We have engine RPM. We have our map pressure here. We have our gear that we're in. This was third gear. And then we see that we have our duty cycle amount here, our actual uh, boost control duty cycle output, which was 0%. Let's jump down in here. We can see our cam angle. So we're going to have our cam command, which is 30 degrees. And we can see our actual cam movement during that pull uh, was varying a little bit. We can see the black is our actual cam movement, 31, went to 30, 29. So we can see it's on track. My, uh, my maroon line here, my purple line is my cam command. My black line is my actual movement. So we can see that it's fluctuating ground, and that's because it's in a closed loop pulse width modulated uh, PID closed loop control feedback. So it's going to be trying to hit that target at all point in times when it's operating. Um, if we go into the last thing here, knock control. Um, looking through this, we can see that our knock threshold is here, this is a green line. Our knock level here was 0.51 volts. So as we move through the pool here, we can see that we were way below our knock threshold. Our knock threshold is very high. Our knock level is very low. If we eclipsed this knock threshold with our knock level, then we would have produced a knock count. We would have saw this counter count up. So um, that's going to be something that we set up this knock control template. When we review our data logs, if we're seeing an overstep, we should see a corresponding knock count increase. And that's going to be a way we can verify that it's uh, potentially actually uh, counting real knock or if it's something else going on where it's trying to increase the knock count, not based on the level eclipsing the actual threshold. So uh, looking at this, it's going to give us a bunch of data that we can use and, and, and set up for our actual tune. So the first thing that I usually do when I check out a data log is I, I run